What's going on, family? How's everybody doing this fine Sunday evening? If you are watching this on the replay, we go live every Sunday on the channel, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. We talk about fishing, crop fishing specifically, but we'll we'll drop you know different species in there as well. But if you are watching on the replay, you can go ahead and drop your questions still down. It just will not be the live chat. But how's everybody doing this evening? Um, got a great show lined out for you guys. As always, last week's show ended up being a pretty good one. Um, I'm going to show you all what we're giving away here soon. But uh, I'm going to wait for that. Hopefully that big audience to jump on here in the next couple minutes. Um, but the title of this live stream is Where Do Crappie Go After the Spawn? And some of you guys are probably thinking to yourself, well, my crappie haven't even spawned yet. And they may not have. Um, but I am in Texas. Our spawn is slowing down. Um, where I am now, a little bit further north of me, you know, I've been hearing reports of crappie still being caught with eggs and, you know, things of that nature. So we still have a little bit of time left in the spawn. But if you're thinking about where these crappie go after the spawn, I'm going to be able to help you with that in this uh, live stream today. And also, remember, live question and answer. If you have any questions pertaining to anything about fishing, go ahead and drop them down as well, guys. I'm here to help you. I will say this. I do not know everything, okay? I, I, I think I know a little bit that I could probably, you know, help some of you guys with. Um but if I do not know the answer to a question, then I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to just throw something out there. I'm just going to tell you I don't know. And to me, that's probably better than me telling you something that's wrong or false or, you know, getting you trying to do something that just ain't going to work. But now we have 85 people in here, guys. Tonight, guess what? I had a couple of bags of Slab City jigs hanging around. So we're going to give away two packs of slab city jigs this one is one of my favorite colors guys look at this the silver and monkey milk guys silver and monkey milk these imitate shad minnows to the t and you will catch a lot of crappie on these right here and then i also fish a lot of dark muddy water where i am so of course we got the blue i think that's blue if it is purple excuse me I'm colorblind, but I'm pretty sure that's blue right there. But we're going to be giving away two packs Slab City Jig 903 Fishing Series, guys, right here tonight. You do not want to go nowhere for that. And then also we had a thing last week where if you wanted to get in on a signed 903 Fishing Magazine, um, every $5, every $5 that you donated, would you would go into a drawing and you would have an entry. So tonight we're also going to do that little drawing. Uh, Keith Fair, Larry Yarber, Marquette Brown, Randall Burnett, and Travis Bowling. You are in that drawing for that signed 903 Fishing Magazine uh, from Life and Land. So if that's something that, you know, y'all want to do on this one, let me know real quick. Maybe we can do it. But Anyway, I'm about to get to the comment section, guys. Almost got 100 people in here. That is awesome. If you haven't, hit that like button. Let YouTube know that you like what's going on here. When you do that, YouTube is more likely to recommend this video, this live stream to someone else, to someone new. And that is how we grow the channel. That is how you can help grow the channel. And also, be sure you got that subscribe button hit, guys. We are creeping up on 90,000 subscribers. Didn't think I would ever say that, okay? But we're creeping up on 90,000 subscribers. Hopefully by next Sunday's live stream, we have hit 90,000 subscribers. We're a little over 300 away. So make sure all 93 of you watching right now have that subscribe button hit. And uh, anybody else in the room, tell them to go hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of ways to make this 100,000 subscriber giveaway just insane. 
and uh, it's going to have a lot of the same products that we've always had during our uh, live sh- our, our giveaways. You know, ACC crappie sticks will be in there, thump gel, slab city jigs, um, some PC fun reels. We're going to have all those guys. So uh, we're creeping up on that hundred thousand subscriber mark. But I'm going to get to the comments, y'all, and um, hopefully I can run across some of your questions tonight. Uh, remember this live stream doesn't happen if there's no questions to read you can go ahead and check in as well let me know what state you're viewing from how did you find the 903 fishing channel how long have you been following i always love to see how we're growing and um, how people found the channel brian sanders what's going on man he said he wants two of those rod and reels uh outdoor adventures how's it going uh, let's see here. Where are the crappie hitting at around the 832 area code from the shoreline? I don't even know where the 832 is, man. I, I know it's probably somewhere close to me, but I really don't know. Frank's Fishing. What's going on, man? Athens, Georgia is in the building. Our first channel member tonight is going to be Branson Bronson Cox, North Georgia in the house. Guys, if you see that little emblem right there beside somebody's name, that means that they are a channel member It is free to hit that subscribe button, but we have channel memberships available where you can monetarily support the channel monthly. And if you see that little uh, emblem beside somebody's name, that means they are a channel member. So thank you so much, Bronson. Crappie Kev, what's going on from Ashburn, Virginia? Mr. Bombastic is here. We have Alejandro in the building from Dallas. Richard Bush is here from Missouri. Outdoor Adventures is watching from Fort Worth, Texas. Another channel member, David. What's going on, David? Appreciate you. Always a pleasure to have you on here, brother. Forsaken Nacogdoches is in the house. Michael Russell is here. How's it going, Michael? Angela Campbell, how's it going? Thank you for being on here. Uh, Slab Slayer, he is a moderator on the channel. How's it going, man? Fished for the first time in four weeks this past Friday. Caught my limit on Rayburn, and 23 of the 25 were slammed fully loaded with eggs still. Caught them in 14 to 18 feet of water. So that tells me that that those crappie, Dustin, staging crappie, they may be, you know, those females may be looking to go shallow, I I would assume, any day now. What is your uh, water temp down there, Dustin, if if you don't mind me asking, man? That, That could tell us a lot right there as well. Greg Martinez is here. How's it going? He asked everyone, how is the fishing? Uh, Rob Fox is on here from Ohio. Thanks for being on here. Ricky, what's going on, Ricky? Bro, thanks for the knowledge. No problem. k is here, casting in the water from Indiana tonight. Appreciate that for being on here, k Ricky says Fort Worth is in the house. Andy Bass is a channel member. How's it going? Appreciate the love. Travis Bowling is in the building. Good evening, 903 from Iowa. Appreciate it, Travis. Fishing with Sasquatch Outdoors. What's going on, Stephen? He asked when we're going to get together. Man, I'm I'm busy right now, dude. Probably the next six weeks or so. The end of school is crazy. I got field day to plan and um, uh, just just all kinds of stuff I have to get done at school. And I tell you what, we need this wind to calm down, too, so I can get out there. I didn't go fishing today. I went fishing yesterday, went to a few spots from the bank guys and just couldn't couldn't muster up any fish from the bank yesterday, um, but I did not go fishing today. We had 18 mile an hour winds from the south, and I, that is just something that I just don't want to deal with. And also, wanted to try to do some dock shooting, but we, you know, guys, we had 10 inches of rain here in three days earlier last week. Our lakes are plumb full. The water is above the docks on on most of the docks. So there's just no way any dock shooting is going to take place right now. We need about a week, 10 days of no rain. And y'all know how it is in April, at least down here in Texas. It's, there's going to be a chance of scattered showers almost every single day. Slab Slayer said he's found some in a farm pond that I'm going to go fish. You know what I'm saying? Ricky from Benbrook, really slow right now. We don't know what's going on. I think the rain messed him up, Ricky. I really do. Willie Carter is here, another channel member. Thanks for being on here. Watch me outdoors. How's it going? Rip them and stick them from Idaho. We got it popping up here. That's what I like to hear. David Campbell says, howdy, 903 from Depew, Oklahoma. 
chasing them crappie and not finding them, still hunting for them, though. Hey, man, go get them. Only way you're going to find them is if you're out there. Tommy Holland, how's it going? Murdoch is here. Murdoch linking in from Buckeye State. Uh, Catfish Jacks, how's it going? Uh, there is Future Miss 903. How's it going? Thanks for being on here. Uh, Slab Slayer says, yep, they're not done here yet at all. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. That is crazy. Tommy is over there in DeSoto, Texas. Mason says, what's up, family? Uh, Dale Reed says, checking in from PA. Needs some good fishing weather. Amen to that right there. Darlene Miller is here. Uh, she's saying deeper water. That's where these crappie are going to go after spawn. Well, they have no choice if they're already in the shallows. But I mean specifically locations on where they're going, what type of locations. I'm going to tell you all that here shortly. Uh, Pro-Am Outdoors, another channel member. What's going on, brother? Justin Jackson is in the building. My favorite fish is definitely going to be crappie. Definitely. Michael Craig says, what's up, 903 family? I've been a bit busy the last two weeks, uh, but help, but kept up with the great videos from Rain, Louisiana. I appreciate that, guys. Who watched last week's video? I always like to see who watched it. Wasn't many fish caught in the video. I'm going to admit it, guys. I caught about four crappie and that one big largemouth bass. But that video right there was more of a... You know, a lot of people pass over those types of places and won't fish them, and there's fish there. A lot of the times, there are fish, especially crappie. Crappie will go into places and in small creeks and things that you wouldn't think, you know, passing over it by the road, you would not see that. And, you know... Crappie will go just places you would not think that they would be. Uh, we got 112 people in here, guys. We also have a teaser for this week's video that I'm really super stoked about. Um, if you weren't in here earlier, we're giving away two packs of the 903 Fishing Series Slab City Jigs tonight, guys. Two packs. These are going to go into somebody's mailbox here in the next couple of days. Uh, Curtis says, what is the best time to fish in the morning for crappie? Um, I myself prefer to fish in the mornings. I prefer to get up early, get out there, see what I can do. Because, you know, if if you go in, here's here's my thinking on one, one more reason why. And I've always said I like to fish early mornings. But another reason why I like to fish early mornings is because if you wait till the evening and you have two or three hours of daylight left, you're basically banking on one spot. I mean, Unless, you know, you, you have several spots very, very close proximity to each other. Um, you know, if you go to a place and there's no fish or they're not biting, whatever the case may be, in the morning time, you have time to skip around and, and, and you know, to go to other places. But in the evenings, you, you really can't do that sometimes. So that is another reason why I like to go in the morning. And I like to get out there at daylight, Curtis. Ricky says, Mucky Milk is his go-to. yes. Remember Roger telling you about Paul Fisher watches his podcast and doesn't speak Spanish? Hello, I've chatted with you before. Take a veteran fishing. What's going on, Paul? Heck yeah, Paul. Monkey milk is straight fire. You got that right. There's Papa 903. Y'all be sure to say hello to him. Walk Michael Wheeler is in the building from Gainesville, Georgia. The side gig guru, Greeley, Colorado. Always a pleasure. Hashtag road to a milli. This guy right here, man, I love it. I freaking love it. Slab City Jigs make freaking awesome jigs. Coulter has a real talent for bait making. You got that right. He is awesome. Um, and once again, guys, Coulter has started uploading on the Slab City Jig website, slabcityjigs.com, every Sunday, whether it's plastics or hand ties, whatever the case may be, he ties throughout the week and puts them on Sunday evening, Sunday afternoon-ish. So right now, I can almost guarantee you, you go over to the website, hit there, there are hand ties available right now. What is your go-to technique for crappie? That's a great question, but I really don't know how to answer that question. I I try to take pride on in this channel of you know crappie fishing, all different types of techniques. You're gonna see me slip corking, deep brush piles in the summertime. 
You're going to see me dock shooting, post-spawn crappie. You're going to see me jigging bobber in the creeks and the kayak from the bank in the winter and the spring. Um, I try to catch the – you're going to see me vertical jigging sometime. I mean, I don't – I don't really have a go-to technique. It, to me, it really just depends on the time of the year and where these crappie are at. How am I going to catch them? It all depends on what time of the year and where they're located at that time. Willie, Carter's, well, Willie Carter is a channel member. Get your thumbnail. He put 50 in his. Worked great today. That's awesome, Willie. That's what I like to hear, man. Outdoor Adventures. Uh, I want to take a picture of your... I'm going to take a picture of this comment and uh, I'm going to send that over to, to Monty right now, actually. On the live stream right now. There it is. All right. Appreciate that, Monty. I mean, Willie, uh, the thumbnails, I'm telling you guys, they're, they're, they're great. Outdoor Adventure says, what's your favorite crappie fishing channel other than 903 Fishing? Uh, there, guys, there's a lot of uh, good uh, crappie fishing channels out there. Uh, Richard Jean, the fishing machine, machine, he's cold. He's cold with it. Uh, no live scope. Uh, Hook City TV. I've been watching Ken. There. Before, before I started watching Ken, I was watching Ken before I started um, uh, YouTube. Um Asleep at the Real TV. He's also in Tyler too. He does a lot of live scope stuff. Um, but there's plenty more to name. But there is a lot of great crappie fishing channels out there, guys. Roger says, Good evening, 903 family. Hope y'all are doing well and keep up the good work. Appreciate that, brother. Watch Me Outdoors says, Need me some Slap City baits. Crappie is starting to catch fire here in Idaho. Go get them, brother. Kelly O'Neill says, good luck to everyone. Uh, Mason says, last we talked, I had not caught a crappie. I have since, with your advice, been able to finally catch a limit, my man. Now that I can find and catch them. Hey, dude, so you're telling me you, you didn't catch, you hadn't caught any crappie before you started watching me? And now you're out there catching limits, dude? That's That's why I, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, guys, right here. Lugo is from Louisiana. Emmett Jones from Tennessee. There's Mama 903. Y'all be sure to say hello to her. Stout Angler, how's it going? Uh, there's another channel member, Joe Smith from New Boston, Texas. Hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Thanks for being on here, Joseph. Uh, Forsaken says, I think I'm close to three years. Yes, you are. Ben Brook, why are they so slow? Uh, Scott says he's watching from Mount Vernon, Texas. Uh, my half a cent. What's going on, brother? Appreciate the for being on here. South Carolina is here and Todd Hare. Uh, Thumpnet giveaway. Hey, guys, there will be a Thumpnet in the 100,000 subscriber giveaway. You can almost bet that. I'm sure Monty would have no problem sending one, maybe two over. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, let me see here. Andy's been a channel member for two months. Subscribe for eight months. You the man. Outdoor Adventure says, anyone fish that new lake they just built, Boys the Ark, is it open yet? I do not think it is open. I don't, I don't think it's open. I don't have a you know a specific time frame on when that will be open, but I, I don't think it's open quite yet. And they just they have they stocked it not too long ago. But I did read an article where people are or the article said that the crappie are growing faster in this lake compared to other lakes. I don't know exactly what that means. Maybe there, you know, there's more bait, uh, but for whatever reason, you know, some bodies of water, fish grow quicker in some bodies of water than others. So, hey, that sucker may be producing some good crappie here before long. Stout anglers over there in Houston, the rod father, how's it going? Let's see here. Okay, our water is 66 to 68 open water and mouth of a cove at daylight. See, that's crazy. So, so I mean, you know, throughout the day, your your water temps, Dustin, got to be getting up, getting in the low 70s. They have to be. 
Keith says he finally bought an ACC one piece with the Carbon X 1000. I've been using it for white bass and love it. Hey, man, white bass are awesome on some ACC crappie sticks. Uh, sorry, Legan says Northeast Ohio, new subscriber. What's up? Hey, guys, I also meant to ask or tell if, uh, if this is your very first live stream, uh, go ahead and, and let me know in the comment section. I want to welcome you in here personally. So if this is your first live stream, let me know. It is. I tell you what, Mr. Joe. By the way, congrats on Teacher of the Year. Thank you so much. Rickard, Rickard, Rickard is here. Richard, what's going on, man? From Colleen, Texas. Uh, Mason says, okay, this, okay, established. I have access to an old established seven acre lake here in Texas. I'm the only one to fish it. How many crappie would you be harvesting annually? Hey, man, I don't know. I, I think it depends, Mason, on uh, how many you're catching and, and the size of them. If you're catching all small ones, you know, that look stunted, as they would say, if you're catching all, if you're catching all fish that are all the same size, then that's probably a problem. Uh, back to the depths, they go bank lines, then when spawns over, back out. Todd, what's going on, Todd? I went dock shooting yesterday on Lake Greenwood in South Carolina. Couldn't buy a bike. Not sure what was going on here in South Carolina. Hmm, interesting there, Todd. Free range bow hunter, what's going on, man? Appreciate you for being on here. Uh, Kuna, what's going on? North Texas, slow biting, brother. Yes, I think the rain messed them up, guys, here anyway. Fishing with Pop Pop. Hello, 903 family. Just got out of church in Greenville, Texas. Greenville, Texas is here. Uh-oh, Gary says they're hitting in West Texas. What lakes you fishing over there in West Texas? I'm just curious. Murdoch says, yeah, that's how it is, is in the Buckeye State, man. Thanks for the shout out. No problem there, brother. Uh, let's see here. David says, hey, from Lake Merval, Gary, Texas. Joe Band is over there in Denton, Texas. Uh, let's see here. Deborah Martinez, how's it going from Dallas, Texas? Michael says, went pond hopping today. Roadrunners, jigs, hell, couldn't buy a bite. I'm telling you guys, I think this last little rain sit storm system that we had, it, it messed them up. It, I mean, at least for my crappie, it definitely messed them up. Um, hey, guys, we're 22 minutes into this thing. Let's do prayer requests. If you have any prayer requests, drop them in the comment section. Been doing prayer requests on the show for a long time now, and uh, we're going to keep doing it. Um, if you have any updated prayer requests, drop those down in the comment section as well. And if you have an unspoken prayer request, you really just don't want to talk about it, but you do need some prayers, drop them in the comment section, guys. Would love to uh, love to get you some prayers out there tonight. Also, well, no, I'm not going to say that yet. Uh, let's see here. Tommy says, that was a nice video, Caleb. I enjoy all your vids. Thank you so much. Guys, I, I got some videos in the, in the tank right now, and I'm really excited to get some of them out. Um, you know, with, with during the rainy season, I want to make sure you guys have content weekly, so I don't want to put out all my content at once and then be inside because of rain for two or three weekends in a row. And then I don't have any content for y'all. But another thing is, I know I'm talking about where to crappie go after the spawn. I have a few more spawning crappie videos coming. Okay, they're they're coming. Um, I'm just trying to get ready for where crappie do go after the spawn. And after your crappie are finished spawning, so you know kind of where to target. Renee says 25 black crappie before 9 a.m. this morning here in New York. 48 to 50 piled under these docks. I fish every year. Been getting rain also, but I used my Velexer and was right on top of them on the docks. Man, that's awesome. Corn fed experience. What's going on? Watch me outdoors. Says nighttime crappie fishing here in Ohio is crazy as well. We will slay one to 200 slab tastic crappie. That's awesome. Michael, what's going on, Michael, from Lake Texoma, water temp 64.5 on Saturday. Interesting. Hey, guys, there's Local Life Outdoors. Y'all be sure to go subscribe to his channel. He's a moderator on the channel, and he's a channel member. Local Life been here for a long time. 
So y'all be sure to uh, hit him up. And local life, text me your address, man. Text me your address. Jeffrey Roberts, what's going on? He says, muddy water, 58 degrees and windy. Mr. KC says, love your videos. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, Mr. KC. Uh, you do any and everything to, to get them, and I love to watch you do that. Hard to watch, like I've said because before, because you make me just want to run out there and get them. Hey, man, I really hope my videos inspire, you know, some of y'all to go. Uh, Fishing with Pop Pop says, are they hitting the docks yet? Well, like I, I think you may not have been on here, uh, Pop Pop, but we we had 10 inches of rain earlier last week. 10 inches. The lake went from being a foot below pool to two or three foot above pool. And the problem is our docks. We had docks for a whole day, Lake Tyler and Lake Palestine. We had docks that were completely submerged. People's boats were floating off. I mean, it, it was it was crazy. Um, right as of right now, you can't shoot those docks. You really cannot shoot those docks. Um, but that it's going down. It's 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 going to go down once once. Hopefully, our water level goes down. Um, you know, we won't have to worry about that. Catfish Jack says, "What is what is your go to kayak?" Man, right now I'm in a Van Hunks. I like it. It works. It does the job. I'm not, I don't think I would recommend it to anyone. I just have a couple of things on there that I'm not very happy with. Um, but it it works. It it does what I need it to do. Roger, I watched last week's video and you gave me an idea because I've been passing the bridges. Go get them. I'm telling you, man. 101st Air Scout says nothing at Bob Stanley State Park from shore with minnows. Water high and muddy with recent rain. Yes. Outdoor Adventure says, is Boise Arc Lake open? I think we talked about that not too long ago. Um, no, I don't know if it's open yet or not. I do not think it is. MJ says, how do you determine the color of jig or plastics to use? Guys, this is one of the most frequently asked questions. And it's, it's a good question. It really is. Um, now this is how I'm going to explain this MJ. Great question. My man, a lot of people on here have heard my answer to this question, but there's probably a few on here that, that have never heard it. Crappie got to be able to see what they're going to eat. Okay. Um, so that, this is what I like to say as far as, uh, jig color. The first thing that you're going to want to look at is your water clarity. Okay. Are you fishing muddy water? Are you fishing stained water? Are you fishing clear water? What is your visibility? And a lot of the times how I test it out, I probably need to show you, show, show this to you guys on video, but I'll put a jig color on and I'll dip it in the water right in front of me. I want to see how, 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 how deep down can I see that jig in the water? Okay. Um, but if you're fishing muddy stained water, you want to use something aggressive, something I like to say darker colors, something dark. OK, black and chartreuse blue. I mentioned earlier, guys, that I have done really well with this dark blue in muddy water. They can see it. Um, if you're fishing, you know, more clear water, good visibility then you can go back to those natural colors, those translucent colors. Um, um, I mean, this this one would be a good one too. Now, I've also slayed crappie with this one in muddy water as well, but this one would be a good one. Um, you know, bluegill color, like light green, something of that nature. You want to go more to those, those natural colors in clear water because not as dark colors because they can see those, those baits better. So hopefully that helps you out, man. Let's see here. Ricky says, I also watch Hook City. Did y'all ever play each other in sports? No. Ken, Ken a little, I don't know if Ken watch it. I don't know if Ken watches my live streams, but Ken, Ken a little older than me. Not much older, but he, he a little older than me, and he, he's also a few hours that way. 
What type of crappie jig do you prefer? Soft plastic hair jig or tinsel jig? Soft plastic hair jig. I, I don't think, can you have a soft plastic and a hair jig? Uh, it depends, man. If I am waiting, y'all y'all have been seeing a lot of waiting videos here recently. I like to use hair jigs, okay? I don't like to use plastics. Um, and I stated that in, in a video not too long ago. I like using hair jigs while I'm uh, hand ties while I am waiting because I don't have to change out that plastic if it gets beat up. And I also don't have, you know, your line gets wrapped, guys. You know, there's, there's stuff that you don't see. Your line gets wrapped around in the bush and hung up and caught. You can tear up a plastic jig really quick, okay? Another thing that I would have to carry is baits. And I just don't like to do that. So I definitely prefer to use a hand tie while I'm uh, while I am waiting. But for you know for creek crappie, I like to use uh, soft plastics. I think those are more natural looking in the water than a hair jig. That's just me, and I'm, I'm it's I'm pretty successful with plastics in the creek as well. MJ says, "Congrats on Teacher of the Year. Thank you so much." Uh, hey, there, there's some good information from Slaps there. He says, if you open the Lake Boys de Arc Lake website, a pop-up comes up instantly and tells you that it is not open to the public yet. So that is good information. Thank you, Dustin. What's up, 903? Big Cat Cowboy, new to East Texas and love your show. I also love the crappie fish. Got a boat. We're at, where are, where are at right now? Ah. Them crappie are, are there, man. They're, I think there's still a few spawning, but I don't know, man. It's it's tough right now. It's tough right now. I think they're working on the boat ramps at Boys D Ark, says fishing with Pop Pop. Uh, you can enter the giveaway there, catfish. I'm just ordering an ACC fishing rod six foot. How long it take to deliver? I don't ship the rods. I don't make the rods. I just use the rods. Um, usually they'll get to your house in three to four days tops. Usually they're, they're pretty good guys. And if you do go order an ACC crappie sticks, when you get to the checkout portion, there is a box where you can put a comment. I need you guys to put 903 fishing sent me. I ordered because of 903 fishing, just put 903. Um, you know, I, I want ACC to, there, there, there's no code, promo codes for ACC, but I, I really want Andy to know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So if you can, you know, put, not, put some, if when you order your, your ACC, put 903 in, in the, that comment box for me. This is Chris Clark's first live stream. That's awesome. Thanks for being on here, Chris. 903, do you have any plans in the future to start fishing and doing vids traveling across this country? Um, I, I, I typically plan a trip once every summer. Don't have anything planned for this summer. Nothing's really came up that, that I've gotten really interested in. Um, but I have traveled to Mississippi and Alabama and Arkansas. I have videos, you know, out, but I, I do not do this full time. My man, a lot of people get that. A lot of people assume I'm, I'm doing this full time. I mean, I am doing it full time. It is a full time job, but I don't do this full time. OK, I, I'm a school teacher. I, I teach elementary school. Uh, that that's my first passion right there. And, uh, you know, that that's just where 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 I'm going to stick with right now. Luga, what's going on? I hope I'm saying your name right. Luga James is here. Thanks for being on here. First live stream, he says. Slap Slayer says, yep, by late evening, sunny day, I bet it's 70 to 72. Spawn runs longer than most anyone believes, but there is usually a really hot time and a big push in our large amounts. Yes, I certainly agree with you on that one. Slab, you know, Dustin, I've, I've told a lot of people, and this is just my theory. Some people agree with it. Some people don't. I look at the crappie spawn in one of th three phases. One, early spawners. You got your early ones that go up. Soon as it's 55 degrees surface temp, they're up there. Um, and then I think, you know, number two, phase number two, 
Uh, huh? I saw it. Um, phase number two, I believe, is your majority, your big push goes in spawns. And then number three, which is going to be your late spawners. That's kind of how I look at it. Sean Hunter is here with his first live stream. Thanks for being on here, Sean. It's his first live stream. Okay, Renee's first live stream. Found you a few weeks ago. Enjoy your vids. I love crappie fishing. Thank you so much, Renee. Sorry, Legan's first live stream. Bought his ACC six foot because of you and your videos. Two more since the other day. Hey, man, that's awesome right there. That's what I love seeing. Uh, D Dorian says, watching from Alabama, first live stream. We got a lot of first timers on here tonight. Mark Pete is in the building. Hello, 903 family from Northern PA. Haven't been on here for a while. Uh, let's see here. Lives in Quabes, lives in North Carolina, loves crappie fishing. He's ordering an ACC. That's what I like to see. Jesse, hard bite this weekend. Guys, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about a hard bite this weekend, and I agree. 903 Russ, Texas is in here. Guys, we're 35 minutes into this live stream. Usually I wait until I receive a super chat, but we haven't received any super chats or donations this live stream. That's okay. Um, but if you would like to donate to the channel, there is a little money sign bottom right-hand corner. That is the super chat button or su super sticker. That is the way that you can donate to the channel via YouTube. Okay. Um, Cash App and PayPal are also available. I guess it would help if I had my banner scrolling across the bottom of the screen that I forgot. Um, but your super chats and your donations really help keep content coming to the channel. Like I mentioned earlier, guys, it's free to be a subscriber. Anybody can hit that subscribe button. Channel members, uh, thank you all once again. They pay monthly for different types of perks and stuff of that nature. Uh, but, you know, it's always a pleasure. Always a pleasure to have the channel members on here, guys. But if you would like to donate, that is available for you guys. They really help keep this channel rolling. Uh, Randall Burnett, you are on the giveaway for the magazine, so don't go anywhere. We're going to do that at the end of the show. Andrew, watching from Lincoln, Alabama, they are about 12 foot deep after these storms. Can can get them to hit jigs, but will crush a minnow. Sounds about right. Daniel Patty is in the building. What's going on, Daniel? Everyone I've talked to that say I can't outfish them if, if I'm the only one. I love fishing. I love catching them, but I want it to last. You got that right. Greg says, where do crappie go on blue sky hot day during spawn? Shade. Find you a tree that's that's overhanging the bank, and that that shaded little area right there could be three to five degrees cooler than you know out in the sun. I have noticed that a lot too, guys. If you find a tree overhanging the bank during the spawn, that's a good place to fish for spawning crappie. I'm praying for the banner. Tell me about it. Prayers for all in need tonight in Jesus' name, says Papa903. Prayers and peace for all. Hacking, what's going on? Yo, what's up, man? I just started fishing this weekend. First time in 17 years. I won't stop fishing now. Hey, go get them. San Antonio, Texas in the building. Two Corn says, we have been having a lot of water here in Arkansas, too. Crappie been acting weird. That is true. Two Corn is also a channel member, so thank you so much, brother. Tacklebox Mike is in the building. What's going on? Uh, Miss McQuitty is in the building from Colleen. Uh, Marco Marcus says he has a prayer request. He's been unemployed, underemployed since October of 21. Trusting God for a breakthrough, I stepped away to take care of family and have yet to get back on his feet. Prayers needed. Well, y'all be sure to have Marcus in your prayers, guys, for sure. Where did the crappie go with all the recent rain? I don't know. Um, like I said, guys, I didn't fish my 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 normal lakes this weekend because I I, I think you know I, I truly believe that there's still some crappie on there's still crappie spawning, but I also truly believe that there's some on docks right now. But when the water is up past the dock, you can't shoot it. So I, I haven't been out on the lake.
Let's see here. Marcus Creighton. Let me see. Jerry Hartfield. What's going on, Jerry Hartfield? Roger is here. Still doing chemo, so keep me in your prayers. Guys, be sure to have Roger in your prayers. He's been doing chemo. I think he's – I'm pretty sure, it, you know, it's been good updates from Roger here recently, so that's great to hear, Roger. Two corn gifted one 903 fishing membership. Guys, that is a new thing that I haven't done too much reading on. I'm going to be honest with you. Two corn, I think you gifted. It was two corn, wasn't it? He gifted you that membership. Well, it says two corn gifted one 903 fishing membership. And you got that email, right? So that means two corn has gifted uh, future Miss 903 Hannah over here a channel membership. Like I said, I don't know too much ab about that. Uh, two corn, if you can, if you're willing, drop down a couple of sentences on how to do that. Maybe you could, and you you may be inspiring others to do the same thing. I that's awesome. Let me see here. Renee says the waiting videos are the coolest. They are pretty cool. They really are. What is, what's the temperature in water for fish and crappie? Crappie will bite in almost any temperature. You got to think about it, guys. I catch crappie down here in Texas when the surface temperature is 90, 92 degrees. They catch crappie with eight inches of ice up north. I mean, crappie will bite. Crappie, there are a chance crappie will bite in almost any type of condition. Shane says, do you put some thump gel on your hair jigs? I have in the past. Yes. Uh-oh. Got me a wading suit after watching a video. I keep nabbing bass. No luck on crappie yet out here in DFW. Hey, keep going, man. You're going to run into a pile of them. Hit that subscribe button, everyone. Help 903 get to 100 thousand subs as soon as possible man you're the man for that i tell you what we uh we really trying to get there guys we're really guys we got 91 likes we need 115 to watch this teaser and we're really close to, i'm really close to showing this teaser guys if you have not hit that like button hit it we got 131 people on here right now so we should be able to get to 115 pretty quick We need 115 likes, guys, to show the teaser. Teaser is ready to go. Richard, check it in. Check it in. Hope all is well. Thanks for being on here, Richard Motley. Would you recommend those waiters you use? I would. They're they're Magellan Mag 2s. Not sponsored by Magellan or anything, but they're good waiters. And, guys, I use stocking foot waiters, okay? And I had a video explaining all of that earlier. But what that means is your feet just go into a little stocking foot. And then I wear an old pair of tennis shoes over the stocking foot. My feet don't get wet or anything. I actually prefer the stocking foot waders. And the reason behind that is you're not walking in a big clumsy boots. You know, a lot of waders have boots attached instead of stocking foot. And I prefer the stocking foot. One, because I wear a size 15 wide shoe. So imagine walking around in some 15 wides, okay? Big old rubber boots attached to your waders pretty much. No fun right there. So I could, I like walking around in, in a pair of tennis shoes. That, that works great for me. Chris Davis, hey, brother, good to finally catch you. Hope everything is well. Can't wait for that new line from ACC. Guys, I have been told, my, what I have been told is, Mid-May, mid to late May on the nine oh on the uh, ACC crappie sticks fishing line. That is what I have been told. Sean says, got a 13-foot and an 8-foot ACC crappie sticks. What, what's the next size he should get? I'm gonna you need that 661 piece, dude. You need the 661 piece. Two corn says, what would you use in water? You can see four to six foot deep. Ooh. Monkey milk would be a good one. It's not white. I mean, it's not too aggressive for them. Um, let me see. Man, that's crazy. 
Monkey Milk would probably be a good color to corn for sure. Uh, Ricky Lang, ease on over to Granberry and fish the lake. Great city, and I will make sure you have a place to stay. Uh-oh, Ricky. Come on now, Ricky. Bro, Puppies Outdoors here from North Mississippi. Always a pleasure to have you on there. Corn fed experience says tough bite in Iowa as well. Uh, let's see here. Marco says he's about to order that 6'6 six, and 10 foot super grip. I'll make sure to put 903. Please do that, brother. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let's see here. Slap Sayer's bite was good even after seven inches of rain during the week. Took two hours or less and was limited out. Not everybody can be like you, Dustin. NEA bow hunters love the PC Fun Viper X and the Flame Awesome Reels. Yes. Tough bite in Northeast Arkansas. See, look, I'm, I'm seeing a bunch of, of tough bites today, guys. I really am. Uh, do you see a big difference between the two and one piece? I like the one piece, but the twos are way easier to travel with. I agree with you on that there, Mason. But that one piece is going to have you a better backbone, okay? It's one, it's one piece rod. It's not two. They're not connected together. That one piece is just going to have a better backbone, in my opinion. You're going to be able to flip, you know, especially I use the 6.6 six one piece in the kayak. And, you know, I don't like using a net anyway. It's just one more thing I got to carry around on the kayak. I Y'all y'all have seen me flip two pounders easily in the kayak with that 6.6 six, uh, one piece rod. And it just simply has a better backbone. Hey, first super chat of the night goes to Jesse Rowe. Hey, man, I appreciate that. The only super chat of the night goes to Mr. Jesse Rowe. Love the videos, watch all the time, and has really taught me a lot. I appreciate that. I, I really do. That is why I do what I do right there, Jesse. Hopefully to help, you know, other fishermen, fisherwomen catch fish and more crappie. Thank you for the super chat. Really helps produce more content. God bless you, Jesse. And uh, you know what? I, I really appreciate that. It really helps out the channel. Sean, I would love to go out with have boat. We'll travel. I'm in Russ, Texas. I do some crappie. I do some guided trips in the summer. Go follow the 903 Fishing Facebook page. Forsaken made a homemade bait cooler tonight. Chris Davis has become a YouTube member. That's what I like to see there, Chris. That's awesome, man. I can't tell which membership that you signed up for, but there, guys, our lowest membership is called the Dink. It's called the Dink Crappie membership, and it's two dollars a month, a dollar ninety nine a month, guys, twenty four dollars a year. That will. I, I wish everyone would sign up to be a Dink Crappie member. That would just absolutely help the channel right there. If everyone signed up to be a Dink Crappie member. Brian says, love the videos. Uh, bought my crappie set up all thanks to you. That's awesome, Brian Taylor. Thanks for being on here, Mr. Brian. Mason says, what is your wading suit? Uh, just talked about that. I use the Magellan Mag 2s. I got them from Academy. Stocking foot. Christian says, I, I fish at this dam, and before it rained for three days in a row, they were biting, but after the rain, I don't know. If they moved, but you know why they are not biting. The dam was really flooded. Man, we've been talking about that kind of all. Uh, we've been talking about that all uh, live stream today, Christian. A lot of people are having trouble with these crappie after the rain, um, which is which is, you know, not. I wouldn't say typical, but you never know what it's going to do to them. You never really know, guys. You really don't, um, guys. If you want a teaser. Put 903 in the comment section. We show teasers here on the channel. This is the only place you're going to see a teaser for the 903 fishing videos that come out on Tuesday. I'm going to show you a little teaser, but I need you to put 903 in the comment section. Uh, with Zay. What's going on? Has a great question here. Which do you prefer, monofilament versus braid for crappie? Pros and cons. Honestly, you know, somebody asked me earlier, what 
is your favorite? Well, they said, what technique do you, do you use to catch crappie? And I said, it all depends on how I'm fishing for. Them. And that is kind of my answer to this question right here as well. Um, it all depends on how I'm fishing. Okay. If I'm dock shooting with Zay, I'm using six pound mono or copolymer. Okay. Not using braid to shoot docks with. If I am slip corking deep brush piles, 10 pound power pro, 10 pound braid, and then um, a mono leader. If I'm in the creeks and I'm, you know, jigging bobber shallow, 10 pound braid, mono leader. Uh, if I'm vertical jigging, straight vertical jigging, I'm using straight 10 pound braid. So that's just, you know, I I fish a lot of structure down here with a a lot of you know thick brush piles. You see me wading in these buck brush trees. There's no way you can use mono unless it's 20 pound mono in those buck brush. There, there's just no way you're not going to do it. Um, so braid really helps me without breaking off. Like I said, main lake, I'm fishing a lot of heavy brush piles. If I'm a lot of people, especially up north, I don't know what it is, but people up north, man, I don't think they use braid enough or I don't think they have to use braid. They're fishing more ledges, weed lines, grass beds, things of that nature where they don't have to use heavy line. They think, oh, you're crappie fishing. You need to use six pound line, four pound line. We, I can't do that. I would be breaking off every other fish. I mean, I, I just can't do it here in Texas. K Buck says, got that ACC eight footer. Loves it. That's what I'm talking about. We're over 115 likes, says Rob Bailey. Are we? Let me see. Boom. 124. Awesome. Uh, Coslet says, my wife and I fished at Lake of the Pond Spillway and was catching them left and right. She beat her PB. 2.5? Where, where are you catching them at? Lake of the Pond Spillway. Man, I've gone over there a few times, and every time I've gone, man, it just hasn't hasn't been good. MJ says, any tips on fishing Lake Limestone? Want to go try a new lake? Um, MJ, I have a video on Limestone. I don't know what you would need to type on YouTube to just find it. Let me see. Let me see if this works. Yep. Hey, I just typed in YouTube 903 Fishing Lake Limestone, Texas. I'm the first video that pops up two years ago. Go go check it out after this live stream, uh, MJ. Now, it is a live scoping video. I was out there with Coulter, the owner of Slab City Jigs. Lake Limestone's about, about halfway uh, but for both of us. So that is just where we met up and fished. Uh, I don't use live scope very much on any of my videos. I don't personally own a live scope. I prefer not to fish with it, but every now and then if I'm tournament fishing, you'll see me using live scope. I'm not going to go out there and unfair competition here. Um, mob gang, what's going on? Mob gang entertainment. Thanks for being on here. Just gone fishing. The giveaway is coming up really soon. Any tips on what to look for when looking for a spot to wade for crappie? Renee. I have a whole video dedicated to tips for waiting for crappie. That video is on the channel. Um, it, it's in the title. Let me see something real quick. Renee, I'm trying to see if I go to videos. Um, okay. How to catch spawning crappie. Crappie fishing tips and techniques, I believe. Go check out that video, Renee. It's on the channel. Released it not too long ago. It was actually from this waiting season. Marcus says, first time listener, long time follower. Pflugerville, Texas. Granger Lake is his spot. Uh-oh, let's go. Tina Ladybug, how's it going? Uh, by the way, it's Autism Awareness Month. I think a huge, I think a shout out to all your subs on the spectrum would be nice. Uh, well, shout out to you, Stephen. Shout out to you, my brother. Tucorn was the first 
time fishing for crappie this year and have been doing very well. Hey, man, that's what I like to hear. Tina says she likes to use minnows. Do you recommend a gear caddy? No, not really. I mean, for bank fishing, maybe. I just carry a bag and maybe a, a bucket with my thumb net in it. NEA says four to six feet total water depth, all open murky water. What do you recommend? Four to six foot total water depth. Put, put some of that black and monkey milk on there. I, gosh, guys, if y'all did not watch some of those, uh, I, I think it was October, November, those Creek property videos from, from last year, from 2023. I, me and Coulter, I got it right here. Me and Coulter made, we, we, we came up with this black and monkey milk right here. This black and monkey milk. And what, what that looks like to them crappie is a, uh, it looks like a flat, a, a flathead minnow. And this right here in muddy stain, uh, well, not even stain, but muddy, dirty water chocolate milk this right here was killing them uh what is your opinion on the eight foot acc with jig and slip bobber that that will definitely work brian i'm going to tell you the eight foot acc i've told this to numerous people is it's the most diverse rod okay you can slip cork with it you can vertical jig with it you can cast with it I mean, the eight footer is if you want some, if you want an ACC rod that you can do a lot with, that eight footer is the one. Yep, there's the email right there. Uh, Don says, purchase an ACC eight footer. What spinning reel would you recommend for crappie jigging that won't break the bank? Easy, Don. PCFun.com, brother. PC fun. Use code 903 fish 15. That's going to save you 15% off. I would recommend the Viper X 500. It's going to match your ACC. Don, those reels are $40 before the 15% off. You can get you one of those Viper X, either 500 or 1000, whichever one you prefer. You can get one of those Viper X uh, reels for under $40 shipped. With with the fifteen percent off code, yes. Oh, so y'all ready for a teaser? It looks like Victor says bite was tough this weekend on Lake Palestine, but still managed to get a fifteen inch keeper. Uh, y'all ready for a teaser? Mister Craig Rudd says crappie wasn't hitting on the banks this weekend and didn't take a boat out to due to high winds. I see that. Yeah, thank you to Miss 903 for moderating the channel and help keeping it clean. Yes, I don't know what I would do without her. Yeah, the Slab Slayer says 10-pound braid all day. Um, Yes and no. I mean, guys, technology is crazy nowadays, as y'all know. But uh, one thing that, that that ACC braid, it's, you know, it's designed not to knot up in the wind. And I haven't had any issues with it. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you all this, uh, this teaser. Um, I got to unplug this mic. Still haven't figured out how to do all that yet. But I got to unplug the mic. I'm going to show you all this teaser twice, okay? Show you a little bit of it twice. All right, here we go. What's going on, family? This video is sponsored by Slab City Jigs. Be sure to go to slabcityjigs.com. Use code 903 to save you 10% off of your order. Whether you're fishing the main lake or in the creeks or the rivers, these jigs will absolutely catch crappie. Y'all be sure to stick around and see them in action. Y'all stay tuned. Thank mm -hmm. you.
I'll stay tuned. going on YouTube this is 903 fishing all right well there is the teaser hopefully y'all enjoyed that right there uh let's see here where where are pines like on the lake or at the spillway or what? Uh, I never took the plastic off my super grip and noticed a tag under the plastic. What is it? Don't want to take it. It's just the tag, man. It just tells you what product it is. There's you could take that off, man. Pro M Outdoors knows Lake Limestone pretty well too, there, MJ. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. May. They're going to be on docks in May where I am, Alejandro. What's going on, Kurt? When is the new banner coming? That is a great question. Guys, it's coming. All right. I, I, it, it's coming. All right. I don't like to put people's business out there, but it's coming. Okay. Uh, real quick. What are we doing here? We're going to do this. Uh, hey, guys. If you want a chance to win some 903 Fishing Stinger Series from Slab City Jigs, let's do this. Row to 100K in the comment section. It can be all caps or all lowercase, but it has to be one word, okay? So put your entries in, uh, put it in one time. If you put it in 50 times, you're still only entered once. I have the no multiple entries, okay? So put it in once. I'm going to give y'all a few minutes. I'm going to keep looking through these comments right here, and uh, we're, we should be good to go. Zachary Walker, you need to go over there to the marina off 155 and get you some Slab City jigs, man. They're they're over there in the marina. True that, Slab Slayer. Thread pin shad. Yes, yes. Now, now, now that you say that, that is correct. They do, they can resemble a thread fin shad 100 percent What's going on, Chris? Says, I was a Dink member. Now I'm a Keeper Crappie member. Much love, brother. Give a shout out to Coulter from Slab City Jigs for me. Oh, yeah. All day, man. Coulter is awesome. All right, Slab Slayer. Have a good one, brother. Mason, I have never fished Lake Waco. Never been over there. Hey, shout out to Brian Taylor for becoming a channel member. God bless you, man. Thanks for the support. Like I said, Dink Crappie memberships are available for $2 a month, guys. All that's going to do is help support your favorite creator on YouTube. $2 a month, guys. I'm, I, I hope everybody can do it. I actually stopped using a slip bobber. Uh, I got something coming out, Deep Diving Dak. You're going to want to see this. I showed it. I showed it. Hey, man, these these are my jigs outdoor. These are mine. Look at that. These are mine. Slab City Jig makes them, but these are my signature series jigs right here. They're going to catch you some crappie.
Nine inch bluegill. That's a big one. Teaser looks fire. When do you think the crappies and bluegills are going to come out of the creeks in Minnesota? Well, hey, man, Shane, to be honest with you, I know nothing about Minnesota fishing, okay? But why wouldn't they stay in there to spawn? A lot of crappie go in the creeks here in Texas to spawn. Um, I, I, I'm just trying to think, why would they come out? Yeah, I catch big bass on brush piles, especially when I'm slip corking minnows. Caught some big uh, catfish and bass for sure. Shane, Minnesota, man. I, I'm sorry, brother. I, I really can't help you out. You know, I would definitely be looking at water temperature. Oh, well, I mean, you keep it on there then, Craig. Whatever you think, man. Mm -hmm. 155, the marina, the marina on Lake Palestine, 155, man. Ask somebody. They'll be able to tell you, brother. Let's see here. Ah, I got something for that too. Okay, let's see. Uh, all right, guys, I hope you got your entries in. We're going to draw a name. Don't go anywhere either because I have to draw for the, the sign magazine, which Keith Ferrer, Larry Yarbert, Marquette Brown, Randall Burnett, Travis Bowling, I haven't, I've seen uh, Randall and Travis on here tonight. I haven't seen Keith, Larry, or Marquette. But this is for the two packs of Slab City Jigs. Right here. Two packs of Slab City Jigs. Michael Craig, what's going on, brother? You just won two packs of... Slab City G's, guys. Brim, you could catch some Brim right now. Um, uh, Michael, shoot me a email, man. Claim your prize, brother. Um, yeah, shoot me a message. Let's see here. SlabCityJigs.com, Zachary. Here, look, let's go see. While, while we got some folks on here, let's go see some. Here, here you go, guys. SlabCityJigs.com. Due to popular demand, we will stock all inventory on Sundays. If an item is out of stock, feel free to click back in stock request so you can be notified on what products are added each week. All baits are hand tied and hand poured and packaged for you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. As always, thanks for shopping with Slab City Jigs. Uh, let's see what they got, guys. Let me see. No kits. Here is the 903 Fishing Stinger series that I'm showing you guys right now. Um, yeah, he's got packages right here for sure. So yeah, this is these are in stock. So let, let me see. Uh what do we got here? We got silver. This is the white, white and monkey milk right there. Uh what else do we got? Black and monkey milk, guys. That is what's going to imitate that thread fin shad or <laughs> flathead minnow let's see gold golden monkey milk these are the 903 fishing stinger series right here guys that right there is just plain monkey milk 
slabcityjigs.com. Hey, code 903 saves you 10%. Code 903 at checkout. Orange, pink, chartreuse, blue. I'm telling you guys, they're there. And then let's see if he has any hand ties. Oh, dang. Okay. Yeah, he's got some hand ties in stock. They don't all stay out of stock. So he's got some over there, guys. Go get him while you can. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here for the night. I do appreciate everybody for watching. Great live stream, as always. So thank you all so much. We'll be back on here next Sunday. We pretty much do a small giveaway every single Sunday. So come join the family. If you haven't, hit that uh, like button. That's really going to help us out, too. And check to see if you got that subscribe button hit. We still got over 100 people on here right now. Hopefully all 112 of you guys have that that uh subscribe button hit so i'm off here guys go pick you up some slab city jigs y'all have a great uh week 903